Are you between the ages of 50 and 54 and wondering what the grid rules may mean in the context of a Social Security disability case? My name is Caitlin Wildoner, and I'm an attorney who helps disabled clients obtain their disability benefits as quickly as possible so they can focus on getting better. Today, we're going to talk generally about the grid rules for individuals between the ages of 50 and 54 years old. The grid rules, also known as the medical vocational guidelines, are a set of regulations used by the Social Security Administration to evaluate disability claims. They help to determine an individual's eligibility for SSDI or SSI benefits based on their age, education, work experience, and severity of their medical condition. For individuals between the ages of 50 and 54, the grid rules take into account the following factors. Age. The Social Security Administration considers individuals in this age group to be closely approaching advanced age. They also take into account education. The grid rules classify education into three categories, limited, marginal, and high school education or above. Work experience. Work experience can be categorized as unskilled, semi-skilled, or skilled. The Social Security Administration will also use an individual's RFC or their ability to perform work-related activities despite their medical condition. Within this age range, there are several grid categories, including sedentary, light, medium, and heavy work levels, each with different criteria for disability determination. The Social Security Administration evaluates the medical evidence to determine the severity of the individual's impairment and how it affects their ability to work. The grid rules also consider whether the individual has transferable skills that could be used in other types of work. The grid rules are complex and the determination of disability under those guidelines involves a comprehensive analysis of the individual's age, education, and work history, as well as, of course, their medical condition. The Social Security Administration will evaluate each case based on these factors to determine if the individual is eligible for disability benefits. It's important to note that while the grid rules can be beneficial for some individuals in this age group, the outcome of each case depends on the unique circumstances and specific medical conditions of the claimant. Therefore, seeking help from a qualified Social Security disability attorney can be helpful to navigate the disability evaluation process and potentially improve the chances of a successful claim. Thanks so much for watching. If you're disabled and unable to work, click the scheduling link below or give us a call directly for a free consultation where we discuss your case and see what I can do to help you.